Dozens of people found themselves stranded after today's rally because their cars were towed. Mm -hmm. They had parked in a nearby Dunkin Donuts parking lot. The drivers told WBTV the Dunkin Donuts gave them permission to park there, but the towing company tells a different story. Now people who came from miles away are stuck with no vehicles. WBTV's Ron Lee has this exclusive story tonight. He's joining us now live. So Ron, this has got to be very frustrating for, for folks out there tonight. That's exactly right, John. As a matter of fact, I talked to dozens of people who were stranded here. They told me basically the same thing. They parked here in this parking lot, went to the rally, enjoyed themselves, came back, and their cars were simply gone. A lot of these people came from hours away, and now they've got no way to get home. He said from across the street, it's not there. They, they must have towed it. The Crump family had just come from the Donald Trump rally, driving over two hours to get here and parking just a couple of blocks away. But when they walked back to where they thought their car was, it was gone. The other parking places were shut up and they were other people saying the same thing when they came to that we can park here. Some who tell the same story came from much further away. It's about three and a half hours, I would say. Darian Simmerly also attended the rally and is also in the same predicament. He had told us already that people had been towing, that, that our car was probably gone. With huge crowds swarming the parking lot of Bojangles Coliseum for Wednesday's Trump rally, parking was at a premium. As an option, drivers tell me they parked at the Dunkin' Donuts along Monroe Road. They claimed the manager at the time gave them permission to leave their cars at the lot while they attended the rally. While they were gone, tow trucks showed up and began hooking up vehicles. The managers inside promised them that we could park here. Um, some of the people here even gave money to the people inside. Now, to get their cars back, they've got to pay hundreds of dollars to the towing company. I called Gotcha Towing, the group responsible for pulling the cars out of the lot. They told me over the phone there was a sign warning people illegally parked cars would be removed. They also said the manager at the Duncan contacted them, asking them to pull the vehicles off their property. They told me the only way people could get their cars tonight was to pay the $380 towing fee, then abruptly hung up. But something very fishy is going on because I've never seen this happen before. Josh Mower says he went to confront the Duncan manager and claims they locked the doors on him and refused to come out. And all of our cars are gone, the whole parking lot, everybody's. And then they locked the door, they won't answer the calls, and they won't even answer at the window. Now, a couple of hours ago, Charlotte Mecklenburg police did show up here on the scene after being called by those stranded drivers, but there simply wasn't a whole lot they could do at this point. What they did do is help shuttle people to the towing yard to retrieve their vehicles. In Charlotte, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. Wow, what an ending for these yeah. people that traveled all these miles to go to that rally.